Okay, so here is my audio transformer, where the two wires go. That has um, 48 volts AC, and then one, that's, once that gets rectified by this uh, 50 amp, 1000 volt DC bridge rectifier, that goes into these two capacitors in parallel, which is 5400 microfarads. And that, uh, that bumps the voltage all the way up to 59 volts, 59.6 uh, I believe. And here's the driver itself. I have a <clears throat> whole bunch of series parallel capacitors here. Each one of these is like point. Each one is one microfarad. And then I have the bank in series, so it's point five microfarads. And then I have this point one microfarad in parallel, so it's point six microfarads. That seems to work pretty darn good with these flybacks. Um, I'm pushing so much power through this tiny little thing that. The capacitor weeds themselves are kind of melting solder. So, if you can grasp that. Um, IRFP 260 MOSFETs. I can't wait till I make my IGBT one. I'll part to part solder that so I can pump a whole ton of power through that without any issues. Um, and here's the flyback. has 4 plus 4 turns on it instead of 5 plus 5. Um, Got it under oil because there will be massive pin arcing or arcing to the core or something nasty. So we just have it under oil, keep things a little bit safer. Um, obtuse. I should make a bigger chicken stick, don't you think? Comments go below. Unless YouTube changes that again. Well, this flyback is officially as dead as the other. Uh, it's funny how every time I go to make a video, my flybacks die. Just kind of ironic. I'll show you what I mean. The arcs aren't really as big, and then after a bit of arcing, the arcs are like super miniature. Yep, that's normal, right? Oh, what happened here? It's the same input voltage and everything. Well, I guess that's enough for now. My flyback shouldn't need to explode on me, but it wouldn't surprise me if it did.